everybody, Paul Connor here with BFF In Home Fitness. Today I'm talking to you guys about being healthy versus being fit. Now let's talk about being fit first. Being fit, and all in all, uh, based off of some scales that we have out there, being fit for men is about 15% body fat or less. Okay, for women, it's 25% body fat or less. Okay, that's just general. That means you've got some muscle structure on you. You don't got too chubbiness on you. Um, another part of being fit is really just going into you can do some. You can jog about a mile. You can do basic push-ups with your own body weight, squats, lunges, planks, sit-ups. These are all things that you should be able to do. It considers you to be decently fit. Now, how fit are you? There's different variations of how fit you can be. There's athletic fit. There's army, marine fit. There's 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 the next level fit, and there's just the everyday fit person. So that's what being fit is: is being able to push your body. But does that necessarily mean being healthy? Now, my version of being healthy is that you are a healthy body fat or body weight. I'm not talking about body fat. I'm talking about your body weight. Meaning, is your aches and pains happening from your body weight being too much, meaning you have blood pressure. If you got all these fast clogging the arteries and, and you just have high blood pressure or you just at a high risk of a medical disease, um, whether it's obesity, blood pressure, whatever it is, um, uh, 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 bad, bad heart pressure, um, all these things are very bad for you and, and that can be causing uh, health uh, deficiencies and really cause some harm right there. So that's not good for your health. Um, that is about being healthy. Another aspect of being healthy is going into um, feeling good. That's the big part of being healthy. You know, uh, mind, body, and spirit. I'm really big on this mind, body, spirit theme. Um, is because you got to be physically at a good blood pressure, at a good health wise, not being hurt, not being uh, overweight, but also mind your, your your mind, body, spirit. Your mind has to be healthy, thinking and growing. I was just talking to somebody about this earlier today. Keeping your body, your mind in a growing state, so always trying to learn something. Stay uh, uh, not in your little box that you know it all. Always being willing to learn some more. That's really helping your body grow and your mind grow. Last of it is spirituality. Whether you meditate, whether you pray, take some time for yourself to find out who you are internally, and that's about mind, body, spirit, okay? So make sure you exercise, uh, make sure you, uh, uh, you're you learning something, creating your mind, uh, growing, and make sure you're uh, uh, taking care of your spirituality, which is meditating or praying or something of that form to be able to get deep into yourself and talk to yourself personally. Um, and that's about mind, body, spirit. So being healthy versus being fit. Which one's better than the other? I tell you this, there's a lot of athletes out there that are very, very, very fit. They can sprint, they can run, they can jump, um, but they're unhealthy in the way that their body is breaking down in the years to come when they're 30 and 40 years old because they're over pushing themselves. So I'm not saying being fit means being healthy. It definitely helps, but not the, the same thing. Being healthy is that you are exercise, but you're not over pushing your body, not breaking down your body to where you're getting the negative effects where you have broken bones and broken ligaments or you're tearing muscles and tearing your hamstring. That's overtraining. You don't want to do that either. Um, you don't want to be overweight, but you definitely want to be underweight. Uh, you want to be at a healthy weight to where your body fat is just able to support your whole, your whole body. Um, and then the other aspect of it is, you know, if some people train so hard and they stretch themselves out just to make that weight to lose all these 100, 200, 300, however many pounds they got to lose and they stretch themselves out, but it's not mentally healthy for you. That's how these people are working out, but they get sick in the middle of the training because they're not eat or they're not, uh, keeping their mind and their mind healthy. Okay. That's a big part of it is if your body will create sickness. If your mind isn't good. And the other aspect of it is spirituality. You know, we can be um, healthy in the, in the mind and the body, but typically if you're healthy in the mind and the body, you know a little something about your spirituality, which means you should be praying, you should be knowing something about yourself internally. And that's what I always say. Achieve health. Don't just look at fitness as your number one goal. It's part of it, but it's not the whole thing. Mind, body, and spirit is the end all goal, okay? So for all of you out there, shoot for being healthy rather than being fit. But if you need help being fit, you got a team of personal trainers right here to help you out. And we're also here to show you how to be healthy. This is Paul from VFF. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.